Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Well, it's Friday evening, and I haven't done any editing yet for tomorrow's show. So I'm hoping, again, I can get this up and out to you all in time. If I do, then I owe an extra special thanks to this week's supporters from www.buymeacoffee.com slash TV. And even if I don't get the episode uploaded in time, I still owe Scott and Verlin a thank you for their support. Now, as you can see, the main remodel of the lair is pretty much so done, and I was actually finally able to move in this week. And during that time, Jessica and I have been busy getting my reloading room set up so that I can get to a few matches. Now, one of the first things we did was to install my reloading bench. But that is something I'll show you and share with you on another episode. Today, I want to take you inside of my armory. It's an entirely secure room, only accessible via a security door with a digital lock. This is where I will be housing my cowboy action shooting guns, as well as a few others you might not have seen before. So with that said, let's fill this pegboard. Okay, it'll take me a minute to figure out where I want to put my main match and side match cowboy action shooting firearms. So while I'm doing that, I'll go over the material I use to build this display and the method I use to securely attach it all to the wall. I started with a base of half inch OSB. The four foot by eight foot sections of OSB are mounted on top of the sheetrock to the studs on the wall. Then my painted 3 16 inch pegboard, which you saw me paint metallic silver in a previous episode, are mounted to the OSB. I used these pegboard mounting kits from Amazon to mount the board to the OSB. Because the OSB is mounted to the studs, I didn't need to worry about hitting a wall stud with these pegboard screws, and that allowed me to dictate where they were placed. So I spaced these pegboard mounts every 16 inches around the outside and then down the center of the pegboard. They worked out fantastic for the project. I liked them so much that I ended up ordering more to do my Nerf pegboard wall, which I'll go over in another episode. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. The firearms were all attached using these pegboard hooks from Amazon. The straight style worked great for the stocks and cradling the double barrels of my shotgun. And the curved hooks were great for supporting the barrels of all of my rifles and for cradling both the frame and barrels of my revolvers. One minor drawback is the hooks fit a little loose into the pegboard and can slip out when you go to remove the firearms. They sort of pull up with the barrel as you lift the guns, but that's easily and cheaply fixed with these peg locks. Of course, even though I laid my firearms out on a template prior to mounting them on the wall, I still ended up slightly adjusting them several times. It was a bit of a process to get them right where I wanted them. I even ended up making more adjustments after the camera stopped rolling. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the way this looks, then give me a big thumbs up by clicking on that like button. And if you want to see what I do with all these cowboy guns, check out one of my cowboy action shooting episodes here on Jedi TV. And of course, if you want to see more, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place, in some other time. How do all you cowboy <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail. Gosh. It's late. I'm tired. What do you expect? If I do, then I owe an extra special thank. Then I owe an e Good lord. Okay, so I know we need to work on the sound in this room a lot. <laughs>